Hey guys, it's Arika Misha, and today we are cooking boneless steak, homemade mashed potatoes. We've got some steam in a bag. We've got some crinkle cut carrots, carrots, and I've got my beef broth back here. You guys will see what I'll be using that for. Um, and I just have four large potatoes that I'm gonna cook up and bake. You guys will see how I'm gonna do those. And let me show you guys these two giant boneless steaks. I mean, they are huge. I got two of them, guys. If you saw my Publix haul, I'm sure you'll remember these. But look at those two big boneless steaks. There's another one underneath. And they've been marinating all night, soaking in all the juices. So, yeah. All right. We are going to cook boneless steak, homemade mashed potatoes, and some carrots. Beautiful dinner. I'm ready to eat right now. Y'all know me. I stay ready so I ain't got to get ready. But anyway, y'all. Y'all know what we finna do. Let go. Okay, guys. I just wanted to come back and show you. I have browned my first uh, boneless steak. I browned it on both sides, guys. Look at that. It looks so good already. I just browned it on both sides. Look at all those seasons, marinating. Oh my God, it's gonna be so good. I can't wait. So I've already browned the first one on both sides. I've got the second one in there now. I'm browning that one on both sides. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I put two tablespoons of oil. Let me show you the oil, whatever oil you wanna use. Um, I use the uh, Filippo Barrero Extra Light Tasting Olive Oil. Just any oil you have, guys. I put two tablespoons of oil down in there to saute my um, steaks on both sides. Just wanna get it brown on both sides. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Nice and brown. Flipping it over so it can brown on that other side. Oh yeah. Make sure your meat is flat down so it can get browned. Just taking my fork, pushing it down, making sure it's all the way down so it can get nice and brown and sauteed, guys. So, like I said, two tablespoons of oil down in there. Saute your uh, steaks on both sides. And you know what I thought about? These two boneless um, steaks remind me of when I cooked my uh, beef stew. I'm sure you guys have seen that video by now. If not, make sure you go watch it. It just kind of reminds me of the same thing because I'm kind of cooking it the same way. So sauteing it on both sides and you guys will see what I do next so all right I just wanted to come back and let you know because I did forgot to tell you guys I did the two tablespoons of oil down in there I'm sauteing I told you on both sides so all right the second one should be ready to come out guys and I'll be back with our next step okay guys you hear my um instant pot still a little razzled up so I've got both of my um steaks out so now I'm getting ready to get the uh beef broth my little mixture that I've made up. So let's go ahead and get that made uh, in the Instant Pot before we get our, put our steaks back in. I'm gonna do two cups of beef broth, two cups. Got my little measuring cup here. That's half. Okay, open my other one here. Two cups of beef broth is what I'm doing. My little concoction. Okay. All right, so that's one cup. Okay, two cups. Two cups of beef broth, we got that in there. All right, that is looking good. Let me get my little, my little stirrer here. Once again, using my plastic stirrer. And those seasons are still down at the bottom from when I sauteed my steak. So I'm stirring all that in with the beef broth. It's gonna be nice and juicy. Let's not forget the juices left over from when our steaks are marinating overnight. We're gonna go ahead and pour that in. 
We want to get all that, all those seasons in. We want to get all that, all my stuff. Y'all know I'm going to get all my stuff. All right. And I'm going to put in some teriyaki sauce, Publix teriyaki. This is all for flavor, to give the steak flavor while it's cooking. Teriyaki sauce. Terry, terry, teriyaki, y'all. Teriyaki. All right. So. I'm putting one fourth cup of teriyaki. One fourth cup of teriyaki sauce. One fourth cup of teriyaki sauce, y'all. I had a little bit left in the bottle, so it was about one fourth left in the bottle. And I'm also gonna do some soy sauce. Soy sauce, guys, soy sauce. Now, you guys know what teriyaki and soy, y'all know they, they salty, but we got two big pieces of steak, so we should be fine. Now, on this soy, I'm only doing a third of a cup. A third of a cup. I don't want to do too much. We know soy is very, very salty, so we don't want to do too much. And I've already got that teriyaki in there, so we don't want to do too much, girl. Too much. All right, let's get this all stirred up, mixed up. Looking good, smelling good. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. Looking good, smelling so good. All right, I got that all stirred up nice. Okay, so move the spoon aside. Let's go ahead. Let's get our steaks back in our Instapot. Let's get them back in there, back in that juice. Ooh wee. Mm -mm -mm. I gotta let y'all see. Okay, y'all gotta hold on because I'm lifting y'all up. I gotta let y'all see down in there. See how it's in there. Submerged in that juice. Yes. Had to lift y'all up. I know that's a little bootleg, but whatever. Whatever, y'all saw it. Whatever. Okay, I'm trying to help y'all see because I can see just fine. All right, so let's get the second. Let's get our second steak in. All right. Got our second steak in. I'm gonna put one steak one way and one the other. I'm not gonna put them flat on top of each other, you know? I'm crisscrossing them. You know, to make sure, you know, everybody get the juices and the love while it's cooking. So, hold on y'all, y'all know I'm gonna show y'all again. Hold on. All right, hold on, flipping y'all up. Y'all can see down in there. See how the steaks are submerged in our juice? Looking delicious. Yes. I tell y'all, sometimes I do some bootleg things, but you know what, whatever. I do it for y'all. Know that, I do it for y'all. All right, so. All right, so we've got our steaks and our juices. We've got it in our little concoction. Okay, let's get this lid on, guys. Let's get our lid on, make sure it's locked. Okay, wait, let me make sure I got this. This um, make sure I got my lid to, to close, child. Cause we ain't got time for that now. Gotta make sure we got it closed. Hold on. Make sure it's make sure this thing closed. Okay, sealed. It's on seal. All right. Let's get it down. Okay. So we got it locked. Our front screen is showing us the lock button highlighted. It's letting us know it's locked. Yes, boo, it's locked. So, it's safe. Let's go ahead and we're gonna cook it. I wanna do, let's just do my manual. I'm gonna do it myself, tell it how much time. Man, what I wanna do it for? Manual set it for, I think I'll probably do, I'm gonna do 30 minutes. Nah, I'm going to do 40 just to be safe. Um, yeah, I'm going to do 40 just to be safe. Right, let's see what we're doing now. Come on, Instapot. Okay, y'all. Let me go ahead and set this Instapot, y'all. I'm going to set the Instapot for 40 minutes, and I'll be back, guys. Okay, y'all, I'm back, chat. The reason why it wasn't letting me set the timer because it wasn't locked, y'all. It was not locked. That's what that 
button was letting me know. And you know what? I should know better, but you know what? I'm still trying to wake up. So, y'all, please. All right, so we got it on manual. I got it on 30 minutes. And I went ahead and hit the start button. I got it on 30 minutes, y'all. I think that should be enough um, because I want to go ahead and cook the um, steak for 30 minutes. And then what I want to do, I want to go ahead, I want to add my carrots to it, my carrots. I want to add my carrots to it and put it back on for like maybe maybe another 10 or 20 minutes I'm gonna see but yeah that's what we're gonna do for now or whatever all right y'all we're gonna go ahead and let this get all cooked up and I'll be back guys okay guys it's time to get ready to get our baked potatoes ready well they won't be baked they're gonna be we are making homemade mashed potatoes so I'm gonna go ahead and get them out of their package and I'm going to tell you guys a quick, easy way, quick, easy way to do these potatoes. Let me go ahead and wash my potatoes off real quick. I know y'all didn't think I was going to uh, fix these potatoes and then wash them. I don't know what y'all thinking. Anyway, let's go ahead wash your potatoes. Please make sure y'all washing your potatoes off. Okay. Get that all cleaned up, washed off. Got that one all cleaned up. Got our second one. I got four big potatoes. That's plenty for me and the girl. Plenty. So I'm going to go ahead and get these washed up real quick. And just so you guys know, I am cooking these um, potatoes in the microwave. That's what I said. In the microwave. Yes. Quick and easy. Um, takes about, I'm going to have four potatoes. All right, now that we've got our potatoes all cleaned, um, I'm going to put these in the microwave. You can cook potatoes any kind of way, all kind of ways. But since I am making homemade mashed potatoes, so of course I'm going to go ahead, cook my potatoes first, peel them. You guys will see what I'm going to do. But um, I'm going to go ahead and put these in the microwave. I'm going to put them in, set the microwave for 10 minutes. That should be plenty of time to cook all four. Um, I'll wait five minutes, check them, you know, with a fork, see how soft they are. Let them cook for the other five minutes and see. Um, usually one baked potato takes like five minutes. But since you see I have multiple, I'm going to go ahead and set the microwave for 10 minutes for these baked potatoes. And I've got my little clear plate, microwave friendly. So that's what I'm going to do, guys. Go ahead and put them in the microwave for 10 minutes. I'll be back, guys. Okay, guys, I had to come back because I totally forgot to show y'all one step. Now, your potatoes, before you put them in the microwave, you have to step. Well, first got to clean them. Make sure you clean your potatoes and then you're going to take your fork and stab your potatoes with the fork. Stab it all over with your fork. Like this. Just take your fork and just stab it all over. This helps the potato cook inside, helps your heat circulate, all of that good stuff. Stab your potato all over. I was like, I forgot to tell him to stab the potato. Well, y'all know what I mean. I forgot to tell them to poke the potato with the fork. That's an important step. Helps the heat, you know, go through your potato and helps your potato not explode in your microwave. So, y'all don't want that to happen. So, y'all better poke some holes in y'all potatoes. Y'all gonna have some problems. I'm just trying to tell y'all what to do. Trying to help y'all out. See how I'm doing it? Just stabbing it with the fork. Nothing special, nothing fancy. Of course, it's a little hard because it's a raw potato. Make sure you're stabbing it real good with your fork. Get them holes in there. Poke it all over. 
All right, and I'm gonna do that for all four potatoes, guys. I totally forgot to tell y'all that step. That is a very important step. I said, oh, I gotta come back and let them know. They gotta stab the potato with a fork. So, all right, before you put it in the microwave, guys, don't forget, stab your potato with a fork. <laughs> all right, y'all, I'll be back. Okay, guys, our steaks are looking delicious. Of course, I'm taking y'all in. Absolutely, yes, they look amazing. Let me get my Mm, mm, mm. Got y'all right there in the business. Ooh, wee. I know them steaks. Ooh, look at them. Mm, 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 mm. Look at the steak falling apart. Ooh, nice and juicy. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, that looks so good. Mm. Let me see. Let me see if I can. Get a little piece off the taste, you know, just a sample. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I'm finna sample it. I know it's hot. Mm, 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 mm. It's hot? Oh my god. That steak is so juicy. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, and I taste that teriyaki soy sauce. Oh my god, y'all. And it's so good. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, look at the steak. It's falling apart. Mmm. Woo, we are joking hot. Oh, another little piece broke off, y'all. Shh, don't tell the kids. Don't tell the kids. They in the bike back there. Ooh, another little piece broke off for me. It's hot, y'all. Look at that. It's hot. Oh my god, y'all. I can't stop eating it. I'm wrong for this, y'all. I don't know. Mmm. That's so good. Ooh, that's hot. Hot, hot, hot. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna flip that over. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna flip the top one over. Oh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flip it over. Mm -hmm. mm, it's hot. Mm. See if I can stab it and flip it over. All right now. Oh, we. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice, y'all. Nice and juicy. Make sure it's down in them juices. Okay, now y'all. So y'all seen it? Uh, oh, that's good. That's good, y'all. It's good. Now I'm gonna go get my carrots. I'm gonna go get my carrots. I got my carrots here. Let me go ahead and get them open. I'm gonna go ahead and add these. I'm gonna add, add my carrots to my steak. Wow. Y'all don't, don't y'all. Just gonna add my little frozen carrots right on top. Adding them right on top. Y'all seen it. Mm -hmm, that juice ain't gonna burn me. Hold on. Just gonna put them carrots down in there and the juice. Cause we want them to get steamed. Okay. All right. Okay, we got our carrots on top like that. Okay, make sure they down in them juices. Okay, y'all see it? Y'all see it. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and cover this back up and I'm gonna cook it for 10 minutes. It's not gonna take those carrots. They already cooked, they just frozen. So, I'm gonna go ahead, you know what? I might put it on for five minutes. No, I'm gonna go ahead and do it for 10 minutes, y'all. 10 minutes so my steak can get juicier and softer and my carrots, yes, my carrots. E14 karat gold, but it'll do. All right, y'all. We'll be back. Okay, guys, our potatoes are done. I uh, put them in the microwave. Uh, these are the larger size potatoes, so I did seven minutes on each side. And voila, they are perfectly done. You take your fork. My fork is somewhere around here. But this is how you test and make sure your potatoes are done. You take your fork. And if your fork goes through all nice and smooth, done, voila. As long as your fork goes through nice and smooth, you know, with no resistance, your potatoes are done. All right, so I got a potato cut in half here for you guys to see. I've got my bowl waiting over here. So basically all I'm gonna do I'm just gonna get get the skin off here easy to do I just use a spoon 
and I just kind of spoon my potatoes out away from the skin dump it in my bowl easy it's easy to do now my potatoes are still hot not as hot because I let them cool down a bit just scraping my potatoes out the middle and just leaving the skin see that's all I'm doing just scraping the potato out and leaving the skin it's easy that's it guys so far I mean for the next step just taking my spoon and I'm scooping the potato out you want to let your potatoes cool a little bit first taking my spoon and just spooning that right on out nothing like homemade potatoes see and I'm just putting it all in my bowl over here show you guys putting it in my bowl so I'm gonna go ahead and finish get these all you know get the potatoes out and in the bowl and then I'll be back to show you guys the next step okay guys I'm ready to make my mashed potatoes I've got my mashed potatoes all mashed I use my little mashed potato masher just to smash them up a little bit all right and let's see here I've got my um, cream cheese I've got some butter I've got some milk garlic pepper for seasoning uh, salt and you already know star of the show is always going to show up so all right just using my fork just to <clears throat> kind of mix my potatoes up a little bit more scrape them up from the bottom all right so I've got a cup of milk here I'm not going to pour it all in at once I'm going to slowly add that milk let me bring you guys into my bowl so you guys can see bring y'all in okay all right so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna add a little bit of milk at a time I'm not gonna put all my milk in there at once because I want my mashed potatoes to be nice and soft and creamy but I still want to have those mashed potato chunks you know I want to have that nice mashed potato uh, feel about the potatoes I don't want them to be I mean I've seen the creamy mashed potatoes I just that's not what I'm going for today all right so I've got the milk in there let me go ahead I'm pouring that full cup of milk in there guys full cup of milk our butter is nice and soft that's one tablespoon of butter two tablespoons we want it all nice and buttery two tablespoons of butter all right we got that in there let's go ahead and get that sour cream in there too let's just go ahead and get everybody in there I'm doing a tablespoon of sour cream two tablespoons of butter one tablespoon of cream cheese some people add sour cream not doing that today all right just a sprinkle of salt you don't want too much salt I am adding a little garlic pepper just a little bit uh, I'd say that's about half a tea, uh, tablespoon and I'm gonna go ahead and add the star of the show those parsley flakes gonna go ahead and add those in just a little bit right now let me get this all blended make sure you guys can see yep that milk's gonna make it creamy but like I said I still want my chunks I still want the chunky mash just take my fork just gonna mix everything up make sure everything gets blended real good that cream cheese that butter and that was just a half a table half a teaspoon of salt half a teaspoon of salt you don't want too much salt in your potatoes we've already got the steak that's full of flavor so get this mixed up real good mm, 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 mm. looks delicious and while you're mixing it your mashed potatoes are getting all nice and creamy so we want to make sure we got that butter and sour cream mixed in real good 
and I threw a little garlic pepper in it just to give it a little garlic taste, you know? Just to give the, your potatoes a little flavor. Don't give me no plain potatoes. I ain't eating them. All right. Nice whipped up mashed potatoes. Ooh, they look good. Let me give them a taste. Mmm. Those are good. They are nice, creamy, and buttery. I could add more milk. I could add a little bit more milk to them. I think I'll add a little bit more milk. I'm gonna do a half a cup of milk. I'm just gonna do half a cup of milk. I'm not gonna do another full cup. We'll do half, so that's one and a half cup of milk. Cause I want it a little bit more creamier. A little bit more creamier. Yeah. That's what we needed. A little bit more milk to make it a little bit smoother. Oh yeah, that's it. Perfect. Perfect. Oh yeah. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Look at the mashed potatoes. They are getting nice and creamy. Mm. Oh yeah. That's it guys. That's it for the mashed potatoes. Show y'all. Show y'all those mashed potatoes. Oh look at them. Yummy mashed potatoes. Yummy. Make sure y'all can see them. Mm-hmm. And then of course I add the star of the show. Mm-hmm. Get a fork out of there. Get my mashed potatoes off that fork. Y'all know me. Getting all my stuff. So Yep. Mm-mm. Mm. Look at those mashed potatoes. Mm. They are so good. And see how the star of the show just shows up and makes everything look so good. Mm-mm. He is a true star. A true star. -er. Take y'all in. Alright guys, so that's our mashed potatoes. Let's go check on this steak over here. Okay guys, my Instapot stop. It is ready. You guys can see my carrots are all nice and juiced up. And you guys already know what's going on with that steak down there. Let me see if I can get a piece lifted up. Oh yeah, this is the side that broke off. Let's get it lifted up for y'all. Ooh, look at it. Nice boneless steak. Mm, 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 mm. It's so tender y'all. It's falling. Whoa falling it can't even stay on the fork mm, 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 mm. look at that steak i can poke all the way through it oh my goodness i couldn't even pull it out because it's so tender it's falling apart oh my goodness oh it's hot mm, trying to burn me i know you ain't let me see if i can get a piece up for y'all it ain't gonna work with this fork so let me get something bigger Okay, let me use my little handy dandy thing right here. Okay, all right. I think this will help me get a piece up so y'all can see. Cause I want to give y'all. Ooh wee! I'm trying to get y'all the business. Look at that. Ooh Jesus. Jesus, give me the strength to not bite this right now. Out the fresh out the pot. Mm 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 mm. Look at that steak and those carrots on top. Mm mm mm. And them homemade mashed potatoes I just made. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she ready. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that, y'all. It's so juicy. Ooh wee. Let me move the carrots off the top so y'all can see. All right, let's see if I can get it up without the carrots. Let's see if I can get the carrots off the top. Hot, hot, hot. Look at that. Ooh, nice and juicy, y'all. That steak so juicy and tender. Ooh wee. Oh my god. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Ooh-wee. All right, y'all. Well, y'all saw the mashed potatoes. Y'all seen the steak. 
and y'all seen me do it. So, y'all know who did it. Don't act like y'all don't know. Y'all know I did it. You seen me do it. You seen me record it. All that other good stuff. Yada, yada, yada. All right. Okay, guys. That's the boneless steak. Homemade mashed potatoes and carrots. That's what it's going to be, y'all. That's what it's going to be for our Sunday dinner. All right. This is Arika Misha. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.